Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On 14th October 2022, India had tested submarine launched ballistic missile from its SSBN INS Arihant. While the test of missile fired was not disclosed, it was expected to be in service K15 Sagrika missile. 7 days later that is on 21st October 2022 the new generation ballistic missile agni prime was successfully test fired off the coast of odisha at around 9:45 hours during the test the missile traveled the maximum range and all the test objectives were successfully met with this third consecutive successful flight test of agni prime missile was conducted and the accuracy reliability of system has been established the maiden test of agni prime was conducted on 28th june 2021 and second test on 18th december 2021 the development of agni prime is aimed to replace agni 1 having range between 700 to 1200 kilometers and agni 2 having range between 2000 to 3500 kilometers agni prime will also complement agni 5 missiles The technology used in Agni 5 was first tested and proven in Agni Prime. Agni Prime has some of the major enhancement over its predecessors such as fully upgraded composites, new propulsion system, innovative guidance and control mechanism and state of art navigation systems. It is a sleeker missile with weight 1/5 and dimension almost half of Agni 3 missiles which makes it stealthier than its predecessor. Agni Prime can carry warhead between 1500 to 3000 kg. Agni Prime also includes many cutting edge technologies of Agni 4 and 5. It can evade any anti ballistic missile defense system and is stealthier than previous Agni series. It is a two stage solid fuel missile and will be guided by inertia navigation system based on advanced ring laser gyroscope. Since it is a canister launch missile it can be launched from rail and road and stored for a longer period and can be transported across the country as per the operational requirements. DRDO has recently also finalized the design for a 1500 km range conventionally armed ballistic missile with an anti ship capability and is expected to be based on Agni Prime. To further commence its development the PSU needs the financial approval and go ahead from the government. Besides aircraft carrier the new ballistic missile can also target land based assets across LSE in Xinjiang, Tibet and Yunnan provinces. Due to its range the new missile will provide deterrence against adversaries carrier strike group and at the same time protect its own aircraft carrier. Interestingly the former DRDO chief Dr Avinash Chander who is also famous as architect of Agni series of missile system had told that Agni Prime has capability to kill moving target which is hinting towards its aircraft carrier killing capability last year the new indian express had reported regarding the mirb capabilities of agni prime as per report the indigenous mirb technology were tested successfully in agni prime missile with weapons delivering two maneuverable warheads at two separate locations this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.